What is up team? So in today's video, we're going to be having a look at CAG as well as Santos token currently exploding right now. But, but guys, it's not only Santos, it's actually all the fan uh, fan token essentially. So we got San, Santos right here, 178%. We got Porto, 50%. We got OG, 46 And Lazio, ASR, we got all these fan tokens, uh, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, PSG. So they're all in the top like 50 right now while Bitcoin is actually taking a hit. As you guys can see right now, Bitcoin is currently down and all the altcoins are down except for the fan art tokens. Now, that is very, very interesting. And CHG has been performing very, very, very well uh, considering this whole downtrend that's been happening on Bitcoin. I mean, look at that, guys. If I take it from the top to the from the bottom to the top, CHG went up 131% and Santos is exploding right now, entering price discovery mode. And of course, Santos is part of CHG. As you guys know, CHG, uh, we can have a look at what they are, what they do. We're going to be diving into a technical analysis on both of them. But for those of you guys who don't know what is CAG, CAG is the leading digital currency for sports and entertainment by Eponymous Malta based fintech provider. It operates a blockchain based sports inter entertainment platform, Socios, which enables users to participate in government and governance of their favorite sports brand. Uh, multiple fan tokens like um, Santos, PSG, Juventus, and so on. So, this is why it's. Um, they both exploded. Now it's very, very interesting what's happening right now. I mean, we saw these news right here. This is a spoiler alert. Chili's Bridge, maybe this could be the reason. I don't know if you guys have, maybe it's because a new season is starting. So this is why fan art, fan art tokens are using are uh, exploding. Maybe they're starting to use it in sports. If you guys have any details about that, let me know in the comments below. I was trying to look at some news on Google. I couldn't really find anything. I'm assuming it's because of this right here, this whole Chili Swap token that's been happening um and the season is starting and whatnot so this is that i mean santos isn't so crazy guys they're ranked 10th in the league and um you know in in brazil i believe so it's not so big but they are ranked 291 right here they have a mark cap of 84 million dollars guys now 84 million dollars is quite cheap because assuming you got in right here at the bottom like the mark cap was divided by 10 it was 8 million dollars so literally santos is up for in the past Two, three in the past three months, I should say, Santos is up one thousand percent, ten x. That is crazy. And and since um in the past few days or weeks, we are up five hundred percent, or not we, but Santos is up five hundred percent. Where can they go? I mean, we're gonna be diving into that and CHG as well. But let's go back to Mark Cap real quick. It's up eighteen dollars, up one hundred and eighty two percent in the past twenty four hours. Ten thousand people on the smart on the watch list. Nothing too crazy. I mean, the volume to market cap is just insane. Seven point six, so seven times the market cap is being traded, which is six hundred and twenty nine million dollars, guys. That is one billion dollars of volume traded almost in the past twenty four hours. Literally up two thousand percent now, almost two thousand percent. Would I um would I FOMO into this? No, probably not. I wouldn't necessarily FOMO, it, especially right now. I mean, we are up ten. You know, people are up ten x. This is up four hundred percent in the past couple of weeks. This thing has been going up. It's been a shooting star, in my opinion. I mean, look at that. I mean, yes, we are entering price discovery mode, and we did break this very very important resistance right here, as you guys can see. We got rejected a few times, but. I don't know if this would be a good time to enter. I mean, the week is ending, two days and 18 hours left. I think we're going to see a nice little pullback before. I don't know, even if we could run, let's say, to um, to $40, you know, that's a that's 116% extra. And I don't think we're going to do another 116 because if we have a look at the RSI, guys, even though the RSI doesn't mean much in coins like these, um, we are pretty, pretty over overbought right here on the weekly, especially on the weekly. Now, if we go on the daily, guys, it seems like the RSI is getting a little bit tired. It seems like we want to do a nice little reversal right here um, on the RSI. It seems like it wants to come back down and it seems like it's, you know, it's losing some momentum. It's losing some strength. I mean, right here, 96 is pretty, pretty overbought. We know that anything that's above 70, guys, investors are essentially going to be looking to sell and anything that's above, uh, um, you know, any, anything that's above 70 investors are going to be looking to sell anything that's below 30 investors are going to be looking to buy so we're seeing these swings right here we saw this was below 30 investors were looking to buy we're seeing this above 70 and investors were selling so we saw this nice downtrend right here now am i saying we're going to see it come back all the way down no but we should see some sort of correction happening very very soon i don't know when we need to see a pullback on the rsi in my opinion and that's about it having a look at the rsi on the four hour we're not seeing any 
bearish divergence. Things are looking very, very great and insanely crazy. I mean, look at that. We have a double bottom, double top right here. Things are looking good. Things are looking juicy on the four hour time frame. We are not seeing any bearish divergence, which usually we will. Here on the on the one hour, we are seeing a nice little bearish divergence right here. We're seeing a higher high and of course a lower high right here on the RSI. This is ultimately a bearish divergence. It seems like it wants to come down. But of course, if we break this level right here, and we make higher moves uh, or we go higher than 98, this would be essentially invalid. But look at this, guys. You see that? We were right here at 98 on the RSI, and investors were like, okay, this is short term. We have to see a pullback. Boom. But guess what? It didn't pull back that much. I mean, from here to here, that was a 25% pullback, right? You would imagine that this pullback right here on the RSI would be at least, at least uh, 45 to 50%. So this is that on Santos, guys. I mean, this is crazy. This coin has been running. Would I FOMO into this? I don't know. Let's have a look at CAG real quick. CAG is pretty, pretty good. I like this token fan. Uh, fan token is pretty, pretty good. I mean, I, guys, they're they're here to stay. There's no question. I mean, the fact that you have PSG Porto and all these things on um, on Binance is pretty, pretty uh, awesome in my opinion. And uh, that's about it, guys. I mean, here, you could read more about Santos token right here. Santos owners receive a number of benefits, participation in the life of the club, right to vote in polls, and etc. So if you guys want to feel free to look at Santos um, on CoinMarketCap. Let's have a look at Chili's. We spoke about Chili's, ranked number 47. 529,000 people on the watch list, $1.2 billion market cap. Volume to market cap ratio is high, guys. So the volume is high. It's pretty, pretty bullish. People are looking to trade this. So even if Bitcoin, let's say, cons consolidates right here, we could see more pump action from uh, CHZ Chili's. Um, things have been pretty, pretty good. Um, $651 million market cap. I mean, that is insane, guys. Literally the same volume as Santos right here. Look at that, $629 million, And this is an $85 million market cap coin. This is a $1.2 billion dollar market cap coin that is insane i mean the difference in this is just crazy and let's have a look at cag cag has been running guys we've been running and it's just been crazy and we haven't been hitting any crazy support resistance i mean if i do peak at the resistance right here i guess you could call these peaks a resistance that that uh targeted this one right here and if i even extend that um no it doesn't even hit these these supports right here or these resistance so i think it's just falling because bitcoin's falling overall and we were also overbought right here on the rsi we were above 70 ultimately at 84 and investors were looking to sell especially when you're a coin this big at 1.2 billion dollars you're going to be looking to sell especially when we're above 70 now the question is, is how high can we correct down well because we are above the support region right here at at 16 cents um, we could essentially come back down to 16 cents, of course, depending on what Bitcoin does, because CG does follow Bitcoin, fan, uh, fan tokens do not, like Santos and PSG apparently, um, but we could see something like that, like a nice little rebound, nice little correction, Bitcoin should be going down to 22,000, 22,300 um, before pumping to the upside. Uh, but that's that. I mean, nothing too much to see over here. We could have a look at the exponential moving average. Look at that. The exponential moving average do line up exactly with the 16 cent area right here, um, which is quite interesting. I mean, daily time frame. We know that when we're above the daily time frame, guys, things become bullish, and we it essentially becomes a nice little support region, right? The same thing when we break below the EMA ribbon, we get rejected right here, and we essentially consolidate, pop, consolidate, consolidate, pump, and etc so we know when we're below the exponential moving average that is bearish and when we're above the exponential moving average that's bullish so assuming it has a few five six candles right here we come back hit the ema ribbon very possible that we essentially pop back up um, for the next leg essentially so that's that on chg on the daily time frame on the weekly time frame we attempted to break above the exponential moving average on the daily but we haven't been able to essentially break it um, let's have a look at the log chart real quick we had a nice little fake out. The question is, are we going to break above it or below it? Look at that CAG. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straight green candles, guys. Nine straight green candles. That is crazy. Attempting to break above the exponential moving average right here. And seems like uh, we might break. I mean, we, we got two days and 18 hours left. We're going to have to see how the weekly candles ends, of course. And that's it. And how Bitcoin ends. Because if we have a look at Bitcoin, guys, if you guys saw my last video, I mentioned that we were in a crazy, crazy hidden, not hidden bearish, but in a crazy rising wedge right here. And this is the rising wedge. You could either put it at closure right here or at the wicks. It doesn't matter. These are the wicks right here. And this is the closure and this is the rising wedge. Okay, of course, I extended this line for a nice little resistance. 
But my target for Bitcoin is ultimately the bottom of the wedge, which is right here, 19,136. And that's about it. If you guys saw my signal channel on Telegram, I put three trades the other day or even four. As you guys can see right here, I put DOT, Bitcoin, and so on. So if you guys want to be part of the my signal channel, feel free. And that's about it. But Bitcoin, going back to Bitcoin right here, the we could have a rebound right here sitting at 21,733. Why? Because we do have this nice little box. So if I take this and I extend, actually, this is a nice little important box that Bitcoin has to hold. If Bitcoin doesn't hold that, we're for sure going to come back down to 19,000. And that's about it, guys. For anything, none of this video is financial advice. So always do your own research and due diligence, guys. This is my video on Santos Bitcoin CHD. If you guys like this video, once again, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow.